when someone gives you like a wisdom tooth on a string and asks you to wear it as a necklace, you kind of, you don't, you don't forget it. Hey, my name is Rule and I'm here with 17 and we're gonna do 17 questions. Somewhat a good trait, sometimes it's not good because I don't leave any mystery. Um, I'm pretty good at ping pong. <laughs> like, like I'm really cocky actually about how good I am at ping pong because I don't care because it's not like a very impressive sport to be good at. But uh, yeah, like I'll say that I'm extremely good at ping pong. Oh, right now on repeat is Hannah Sun by Lomelda. They're amazing. And uh, this song is so, so good. I told you this song. There you go. There's a beautiful rendition. <laughs> it's kind of like an intervention, I guess. You're having an intervention with someone who's close to you, telling them that path they're going down is probably not the healthiest and you know you're bringing things upon yourself that uh, are easily avoided I'm putting it off I'm putting the blame on someone else because the song is about me <laughs> yeah the music video was a uh, was a weird couple days for sure like I was doing things I didn't think I'd ever do um, I was like stuck in this like I don't know, it's like putty it's like just like cornstarch and uh, water and food dye and just like it's basically concrete but if you move slowly it's all like gooey and i was stuck in that for like 45 minutes and that was not super fun no the, the music video was, was a lot of fun it was just like you know goofing around a little bit for two days which is kind of most music videos for me yeah i'm pretty in incredibly excited to finally have like a proper project like an album out Almost what now, like a fifth of my life I've been working on this album. When you when you put so much work into these songs and you hear them over and over and over again, you kind of start to hate them pretty quickly. But all these songs on this album I haven't like hated yet and I've been listening to them for so long and I feel like that's just a good sign for me. I feel like, okay, if I don't hate these now, then I don't think I ever will, which is pretty exciting to me. <laughs> Dream bucket list. Um, James Blake and Mr. Worldwide, just those two. Just chuck us in a room and we'll create the uh, the fuego, as Mr. 305 would say. Yeah, I guess like the first tour I ever went on was really crazy for me and I still will always remember the feeling where I was extremely overwhelmed and kind of had this weird like autopilot kind of thing going on when I was on stage that just like, I first thought it was kind of scary because I didn't really feel like I was present, but when I learned to just like, forget about, like, put the music and the singing on autopilot when you're on stage so you can actually enjoy the rest and interact with people and kind of take in everything else that isn't the set you're playing. That was pretty cool. I felt like when I got to that point, I was like, I'm a professional singer. And they were lovely people, but I think, you know, when someone gives you like a wisdom tooth on a string and asks you to wear it as a necklace, you kind of, you don't, you don't forget it. And uh, yeah, and the other one was like, and someone gave me like a needle that was like pierced through their hand. Um, and I was like, cheers. I think when I went to Japan for the first time, that was like pretty insane because I didn't really have any fans anywhere. And then I like rocked up to the airport and there was like 30 people like holding up my name. And I was like, how? I don't have any music out. And they're just like, I don't know, we just, we like you. And I was like, thanks, mate. And they were like, hell yeah, we're going to your show. And I was like, See you there. Oh, guys, it's embarrassing, but this, like, I didn't really, I, this is the only job, it's still all I got. I got no rebound, I got no safety net, I've got no bakery to go back to, I've got no, like, little service station, I'm, I'm, this is it. Restaurant, it's not really a restaurant, but it's a lovely tent right outside the pavilion on Melrose, and it's a, uh, it's just a taco tent, and it is, like, the best taco I've ever had in my life. And I've been to probably around 25, I'd say, around LA of like, just like trucks and tents. And this one is better by, oh, country mile. Binge watch Arsenal All or Nothing, which is a, which is a show about football, about soccer. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about. <sighs> I always used to say the same three words that I kept getting memed for by my fans. Cause I don't know if they thought that it, just like was a completely wrong interpretation. I was trying to make myself like look cooler than I was, but uh, I used to say like alternative like soul pop, like, and uh, I feel like it's not like that anymore. <laughs> Especially like the new music I've been writing. 
me saying it is either going to make other people upset or me upset. <laughs> that was like two years ago. That was, we're not too dissimilar. <laughs> um, like I'm pretty happy with this job, to be honest. There's not much I can really complain about. I feel like just getting a really good water bottle wouldn't have skewed my path too much and would have, you know, been good for the environment, first of all, because I drank a lot of water out of plastic bottles. Like, so I just, I drink a lot of water. Yeah, having a great water bottle, just like, oh, such a good feeling. Like, destroys people's <laughs> self-esteem. <laughs> like, there's so much bad it could do. But obviously, you know, it is like an incredible tool for getting your music out there because now more than ever with things like TikTok and whatever, like so crazy how accessible everything is and like everyone I feel like has got a fair go now. Like everyone. It's all just like based on how hard you work and talent more than ever because if you put something up and it's really truly amazing, like people will see it. I'd probably get Jeff Buckley in there. Um, well, like my great, 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 great grandpa was doing, you know? Just have like a relative from like the 1800s. I feel like that'd be pretty sick because like you kind of have something to relate to slightly. Same last name and then he could also give me all the goss which was happening like 200 years ago. Probably Red Rocks. Is that in Colorado? I think it is. Um, that's like the one venue that I've seen that just like blows me away when I see people, you know, I know people have played there and be like, it is insane, it's so beautiful. I also really want to play like a big festival like Lollapalooza in like Argentina or Chile or like somewhere in South America because I've never been and that's like a huge bucket list place for me to go. Like for real, probably just like take every day as it comes, but if we're not being for real, Mr. Well, why to infinity? Set the room on fire. And my name is Rule and you can stream my new track, Someone Else's Problem, right now.